Okay, I've got a quick video now talking about the differences between width and max width and height and max height. So I have here a page where I've got a main element and two paragraphs inside of it. That's all there is. There's a header with my title and here's main. Two paragraphs. In my CSS I've given a color and I've set a width on main. Main is set to 800 pixels wide. Now I'm zoomed in here so it looks a lot bigger but here we go. If we go down 100%, there we are. There's the 800 pixels. As I change this, you can see that my content, I can scroll back and forth now. The scroll bar is at the bottom because my page is less than 800 pixels wide. If I go to the paragraphs inside and I do the same thing, if I set a width of, let's say, 600 pixels on the first paragraph, there it is. I'm using margin auto on the left and right so it will be centered but 600 pixels there we are and as I scroll down below that my content does this now on this one if I set a max width of 600 pixels the difference is going to be that as we get down below that point instead of just going off the page Oh, sorry. Let's drop down to 400 pixels for this one. There we go. Now, this paragraph, you can see with the width 600, is sticking outside of the 400 pixel parent element. But this one shrunk down. And that is because I set a max width, not a width. So it's allowed to be smaller. If we did the same thing with this one, Let's put it back up to, say, 800, what it was originally. Now, max width means you can be any width at all up to 800 pixels. As I expand, it stays at 800. But as I shrink down, now you can see it's getting smaller and smaller. The second paragraph is getting smaller and smaller inside of it because it's got a max width as well. So the biggest it's allowed to be is 600 pixels. When I exceed the 600 pixels, I end up getting the space. Same as a width. So when I'm, my width is beyond these values, there's no difference between them. The difference comes when I get down below that size. Width forces it to stay that size. Max width allows it to shrink. There's also a min width. We can set a min width of 600 pixels on the paragraph. Now you can see this paragraph is expanded to fill as much space as it can inside the 800. When it gets down to that 600 pixels, that's the min width, it's not allowed to get smaller than that, so that's when it starts to stick out the side. And all of this works with height as well. You can set height, which gives it a fixed height. You can set min height, where that's the smallest it's allowed to be, but it can be anything bigger. Max height means it can get anything up to that height. Anything smaller is fine, but you can't exceed this. So max width can't exceed 600 pixels. Min width cannot be smaller. Oh, sorry. Cannot be smaller than 600 pixels. And then if we give the parent a fixed width, it can't be smaller or larger than that value. So it's stuck at 800. Regardless of what happens to my page, it's stuck. And because it's stuck, it can't have any influence on these guys. We change it to min. There we go. Now it's allowed to expand to fill the entire screen, but it can't be smaller than 800 because I set min width to 800. The paragraph inside, the top one, 
has a mid width, so it expands to fill it as well. And that's it. That's min width, max width, and width. So hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.